me. But Simone, that's not a reason to be upset with her. I want to hear from Quad. Thank if you. she stays honest, I stay quiet. She okay. lies, I'm talking. Okay. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, I am really feeling disappointed because y'all, I actually really, really, really like Dr. Simone and she has always been basically like my favorite doctor on the show. But this mess that she pulled at the Married to Medicine season 10 reunion definitely has me looking at my girl kind of crazy right now. And I don't know y'all, it really kind of feels unforgivable. If you watch part one of the Married to Medicine reunion, then you already know that our eyes were truly opened about a lot of things. Like how apparently Phaedra really did want Dr. G to be her sugar daddy. If I did ask the man for $4,000, he obviously didn't have it, okay? <laughs> and y'all both married the man. And how we finally know how Apollo made it to the Married to Medicine season 10 reunion. You invited him, actually. I did. How long were you in the joint? Like five and a half years. But unfortunately, our eyes were also opened up about who the real villains are on the show. And I really hate to say it, but Dr. Simone, you're officially the villain, girl. And you are just so nice and nasty about it. Okay, so Simone was trying to make it a point to justify them icing Quad out of this group by working overtime to show the viewers that Quad is a horrible friend who only shows up for the cameras. I still Did you show up for her last out. year? Wait, Look, I definitely understand that they're gonna need Quad to start opening up more, but with something as awful as this, I really don't feel like it should be used for storyline or any sort of shock value on the show. And shame on Andy for sitting there talking about, oh girl, what happened? As if he didn't know. After Napa, after, Napa? after the Mad Gala, she had an incident, a chick at what, her what, home. What was it? Simone. In that moment, the energy really kind of felt like, okay, girl, like, I'm gonna ask you twice. And if you're not gonna tell us what happened, there's gonna be some repercussions. And I just felt so bad because you can hear Quad literally begging Simone not to say it. Where her Simone. niece, her great niece, in her pool. Okay. I reached out to Quad. And she still put it out there. It is about our <laughs> real lives. <laughs> My heart really breaks for Quad. It really does because they have been treating this girl so bad this whole season. Like, I don't even like the way they try to blame that whole Dr. Jackie mess on her either, but I'm gonna save that for a whole nother video and y'all need to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that. But y'all, I definitely am wondering at this point, like, damn, how much more does this girl have to take? Okay, since it's out there now, I guess we have to talk about what really happened to Quad's niece. I remember when I first heard about what happened with Quad's niece last summer, I felt so bad for her. I know Quad has already been through so much lately and this was around the same time that they were casting Sweet Tea on Mary to Medicine, but they were also playing around with Quad's check acting like they were gonna choose Sweet Tea over her. I also noticed that the passing of her niece was way too heavy for her because for a while, Quad had actually left social media altogether and you could just tell when she came back that this topic was still too much for her to speak on publicly. According to People Magazine, Quad's niece was found on July 7th in the pool at her house after two caretakers stepped away to order pizza. Now, it's unclear if Quad was actually at the home at the time, but when they returned, the little girl was found unfortunately floating in the pool and later passed away at a nearby children's hospital. In a statement to People Magazine, Quad's rep let us know that this was the second loss of two beloved family members that Quad had actually experienced in just one week. And y'all, I can only imagine. So I definitely feel like what Dr. Simone did was kind of unforgivable. And fans were not having it with Dr. Simone. Talking about, this was so disgusting for Dr. Simone to do. To use Quad's trauma regarding her family to prove a point of Quad not being a good friend, she said her name twice and she ignored her. Simone went too low here. Damn. 
and Dr. Simone deserves to be canceled forever. I'm so disgusted that she continued to speak about the tragedy of a child's passing after Quad called her name and said no. Just to make a point, exclamation point, I'm disgusted. Clearly Quad blames herself before another Married to Medicine fan responded. So Simone just basically made herself the real villain, not Quad because Quad's face broke me. And not gonna lie, this one little clip definitely got me looking at Quad differently. She just may not be the real villain in this story. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> and this shady binge watcher did not play with Simone talking about. I'm glad people are starting to see Simone and Jackie for who they truly are. The way they tried to act like Mariah and Quad were the mean girls in the beginning is exactly how they turned out to be. Mentioning her unalived family when she repeatedly told you not to is foul. And Quad handled this so well, Simone crossed a boundary and I don't like that before another fan responded. Yo, if someone is asking you to not bring up the passing of a family member, don't bring it up. Simone could have brought up the other two times she reached out to Quad with the side eye emoji. And Simone has been way too messy these past few seasons. Why are you detailing someone else's trauma on national TV to prove a point? Question mark. Production honestly should have edited that out. It's not fair to Quad to make her speak on a deep tragedy if she's not ready yet. But people were also calling Quad out because apparently, even though it seems like she got super emotional, Quad wasn't really able to produce any tears. You wanted to provoke she's doing me? It to I don't Talking about, I like Quad, but I can't find the tears. <laughs> and Quad dropped zero tears. Simone made a necessary example of Quad and she exposed how inauthentic and performative she is. Notice how Simone evoked real emotion and real tears. Before this one married to medicine fan was like, I, I. Even if Quad wasn't really crying, it doesn't make Simone's actions any less trash. Some of y'all's spirits are just as nasty, so naturally, right and wrong depends on whether or not you're a fan. So <laughs> Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Dr. Simone went way too far to make her point, or do you feel like the example that she gave was absolutely necessary. Also, let me know, what do you guys think so far about this year's reunion? Dr. Jackie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know that this was a bit of a tough conversation, but I felt like we definitely needed to talk about this and I have so much more to say about this reunion so far. So be sure to subscribe and like this video because I will be back very, very soon to get something else off my tips. So be sure to subscribe and hit that like button right now because I will def- She's not lonely. I apologize, I apologize. Oh. Thanks again for watching this video all the way to the end. I will see y'all bad friends on the next one. Man, I'm taking off my head as a CZ that can't fail. I'm gonna get the reason why repeat. I'm knee deep, need a dub, that's it, you seek me. I'm too sick, yeah, I know I make it look easy. Easy, easy, eat, yeah. Tell them don't try to play me. Yeah, 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 I'm drippy on the dirty They can never count me out, they can never count me out, I know They can never count me out, they can never count me out, I know I Make it look easy, make it look, make it look easy I know I, make it look